Pittsburgh has become a hub for precision medicine. We were the first site to launch the National All of Us Precision Medicine Research Program, and we're creating infrastructure that'll drive 21st century healthcare. The UPMC Genome Center is the largest high-throughput CLIA certified genome center in Pennsylvania, allowing us to scale to a capacity of more than 20,000 whole genomes annually or equivalent to more than 100,000 whole exomes annually. I think this is going to be an incredible exciting time for uh, genomics. Now we've sequenced uh, millions of individuals across the world and we're trying to now use that data to try and understand how sequences of individuals affects their risk of disease and response to therapy. One of the areas where you can probably have the most impact in, a, in an individual's lifetime is sequencing a newborn. We're very excited uh, here at Children's because we're getting ready to implement a project uh, that will incorporate uh, whole genome sequencing into the diagnosis of uh, newborns with acute illness. Now, any child who gets admitted to our neonatal intensive care unit, our NICU, um, will, will be evaluated by a neonatologist and if they feel that genetic testing would be of help to them, they'll immediately have access uh, to our new whole genome uh, sequencing uh, program uh, rather than having to send them out to uh, uh, an outside lab. One of the great things about doing um, rapid genomic sequencing on this patient population and getting results back within you know, a five to seven day period of time is something that has been unheard of in, uh, really in diagnostic testing in, in newborn patients or NICU patients. And in my academic lifetime, I thought I would never see the, the um, ability to um, obtain this information and actually act upon it clinically. Um, and so this is just going to be an incredible um, opportunity to really impact on neonatal care in a way that we've never been able to do um, over the past decades. The Institute for Precision Medicine offers many uh, important key aspects for the uh, moving precision medicine forward. Precision biobanking, genomics, big data analytics, and then implementation science. One of the first programs that was funded by the Institute for Precision Medicine was the testing and implementation of pharmacogenomics. This is an area where we really feel we have enough research showing clinical utility and clinical validity that they should be used in, in, in general healthcare. Precise Rx is our pharmacogenomics clinical implementation program here at the University of Pittsburgh in UPMC. And its goal is to implement pharmacogenomics in everyday practice. And that means creating systems to take the data that's run in a clinical lab and bring it into the medical record to teach prescribers how to use the data effectively in practice and then they get the data to patients where it can make the most impact. So now that we have an understanding of what some of the implementation barriers are for pharmacogenomics and we've effectively implemented here at UPMC and PET, we feel we can take the program to a much higher level. So we've moved to large-scale population preemptive pharmacogenomic testing. We have a new pharmacogenomic center of excellence within PIT and the Institute of Precision Medicine to be able to offer preemptive testing to a large number of patients and understand the impact on all their medication therapy, their downstream care utilization, and for research. Our immediate goal is to support the researchers and scientists at the University of Pittsburgh However, in the long term, we believe that we can scale beyond this by building collaborations with other academic medical centers or industry to make precision medicine not just uh, a reality within Pittsburgh, but across the world. We're really excited to be performing precision medicine research. We have many diseases are now understood at the genetic level and so we can now develop therapies for them or at least predict risk of disease. So this is going to fundamentally transform how we apply medicine and how we think about medicine.